hey guys welcome back to my channel oh my god it's been a long time i posted i think it's almost a month over a month or almost two months a lot has been going on i think these days i just don't have the vibe or you know i just don't have the vibe to post videos i it's not like i don't have content i do hair every day of my life so i have i can make as much content as possible but I just don't have that vibe to actually record, edit, and post. But um, so help me God, I'm going to do better. And I'm so sorry that I just left you guys in the dark. Okay, guys, uh, my, my DMs have been flooding about locks. So I know I've made a video initially about locks. So I'm going to do like a 2.0, you know, because of course, this is like a year ago. So definitely my skills have been updated. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. Anyways, I think I'm talking too much. See, this is why I don't like voiceovers. So let's get into the video. So guys, the first time I'm going to be showing you guys will be the butterfly locks. So um, I get these questions all the time. Um, I used two types of spring twist this one you see right now it's the regular type of um, spring twist so i call i will just call it the pre-fluffed and also i um i use the expression spring twist which already comes um it already comes fluffed so this spring twist was the original one that you know came out before you know expression came out with the already fluffed one just to make life easier so i basically use this type of spring twist when um i'm doing butterfly locks and personally i offer two textures of locks um fully distressed and slightly distressed so when i mean fully distressed is like it's giving the butterfly effect the puffiness and all the extras and when i say slightly distressed it's just giving more natural more more natural vibe though i'm gonna um i'm gonna insert a clip of what i mean um of slightly distressed as well so for butterfly locks i use the pre-fluffed i use the pre-fluffed um like um spring twist hair for that um the mannequin the mannequin's head was already thick so i didn't bother using um a base but usually i use uh, marley hair as the base i know you can use whatever base you like some people actually use spring twist itself as the base but i prefer my look to look um some certain way and also feel some certain way i've tried using spring twist as the base as well but i feel like um the kind of texture it gives is oh after three to you know three days one week it's gonna start unraveling because it tends to be too soft and it also starts to like crinkle up together again this is my personal experience but when i use like the marley hair it's more firm. It has a firm base. So I prefer using that compared to using like spring twist or another, you know, bouncy hair as the base. So I get questions like, oh, how do I make it long? Do I use a spring twist or you do I use a base? If uh, my client wants a butt length, I make my base get to her butt. So the Marley twist will get to the length you want to achieve. And on the only thing you do with the spring twist is just to wrap around the base, which is the Marley hair. So the base achieves the length and the spring twist just wraps around to give it the look you want but um yeah so guys i'm gonna be showing you how i um achieve the slightly distressed as you can see this is the expression spring twist i really really love this hair and um i feel like locks also has to do with your technique because i can also do like the butterfly locks like the fully distressed with this particular brand too but i would you know i 
prefer using the other type of spring twist but if i do not have that type i also use this type of spring twist so if you can see what i'm doing in the video i'm just wrapping you know up and down up and down just to give it a more secure look compared to the first video i didn't wrap as tight as tightly or as tight as i am now because this is given more natural it's given more straight and natural again and also um i kind of tie a knot as i go just to keep it more secure and also let's say um i wrap one piece to the end and if i want to attach another piece i wrap a little and also just tie a knot wrap a bit around it and just continue so um yeah this is when i this is what i mean when i say you know distress locks or slightly distressed because it looks more natural when it gets old and it's more thin because everyone has different you know textures and what they like so i just like to give my clients more options you know to yeah to book for so guys there's this video when um where i used soft locks as the base because i didn't have miley hair as the base and i got a lot of questions and a lot of questions about the same thing so i decided to you know just give you guys an example you know in this video and show you guys what i was doing there's so many ways you can attach your marley hair some people actually braid it from the start and just go down but i have two ways of you know attaching my marley hair to my client's hair first of all i can always interlock it and just start wrapping and second of all i can always just wrap and connect it if you keep watching you're gonna see what i do so just keep watching So why do I use this method sometimes? I use this method sometimes because if my client has like long hair and they want to get a bob, I tend to fold their hair just like I did with the mannequin hair. So I feel like it's more difficult to actually, you know, braid your client's hair and everything. So this way, when they're taking it down, once they just unwrap the roots, everything slides down. So all they have to do is just loosen their natural hair because they don't have to worry about oh cutting the hair, cutting the mali hair off. Once you unravel the roots, everything else just slides out. So guys, this right here is my most asked question ever. How do you attach the human hair to the locks? I have made a video about this before, but people were like, oh, it's not clear. They didn't see it. So I decided to do it one more time. Human hair, doing locks with human hair can be a bit tricky because human hair is kind of slippery. And it's just different from, you know, your regular synthetic hair that's kind of coarse. But human hair, the slightest thing can just make it slip out. So you have to, you know, do this really well so as you can see in the video i am kind of interlocking the human hair and the wrapping hair so after i do this i just wrap and wrap and wrap until i cover the short part of the human hair so for this, it's kind of tricky because you have to wrap more than one time. So I usually go up and down, up and down, up and down, right wrapping. And then at the end, I just go over it with a little piece and just knot it with a nail glue. Just a little glue, just like a tiny dot just to give it extra security. I used to use um lighter 
but guys it was a mess so i did this locks one time and i used lighter and then it was a whole mess because the human hair started getting attached to the part that i bond so it was just a disaster and i had to just take the hair off after like a week and i wasted all my human hair so i would not advise using lighter i know i've said it before you can use lighter but no guys out of experience please do not use lighter just a tiny dab of glue will just be perfect for this style again hopefully this was helpful hopefully you guys were able to see it and um yeah this is all i have for now and i promise guys i will be bringing back the content i might just have to work with my mannequin more this day so i can give you guys more in-depth you know tutorial and everything but um anyways i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys you know learned one or two things from it if you still have questions of course my comment section will be open you can drop a comment thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye.